In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing poster design in Photoshop. Grab your mouse as we dive in. So first and foremost, you are going to create a new document. Choose a solid color. Create a new layer. Grab a soft term brush. So opacity is set to 100, then we are going to set our foreground to white and we are going to click once. So we are going to set the blend mode to overlay. With the layer selected, Ctrl J to make a copy. Then we are going to set the blend mode of the second layer to normal. We are going to reduce the opacity. Now we can grab our assets for this tutorial. So first and foremost, we are going to copy this layer. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Then we are going to grab the gradient tool. With the max selected, we are just going to drag to erase. Let's reduce the opacity. Let's grab our next item. So with this layer selected, we are going to copy Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Ctrl T, then we are going to scale this up. With the layer selected, we are going to set the blend mode to multiply. Create a max. Grab a soft turn brush. And we are just going to reduce the opacity so that we can just erase So our foreground is set to black and we can erase. Let's make this bigger. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Ctrl T, then we are going to make it bigger. We are transforming that. Let's grab our asset and put them all together. So I'm going to hold shift and select as many layers as possible. And I'm just going to copy. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. With this layer selected, Ctrl J to make a copy. Mm. Then we are going to move the layer onto the topmost layer. We are going to move the layer to the top. Ctrl T, we are just going to make it a bit bigger, just a bit. With this layer selected, Ctrl J to make another copy. Then we are just going to rotate it and position it right here. Ctrl J to make another copy. 
And we are just going to position it right here and rotate it a bit. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. We are just going to position this right here and we are going to drop the layer. So we are going to position this item right here. We are going to apply a case adjustment layer. With the layer selected, I'm going to apply a curse adjustment layer clipped onto the layer so the effect applies only to the layer. So we are going to apply a curve adjustment layer to this layer as well, also clipped onto the layer. With this layer selected, We are going to drop the layer. We have it right here. With the Mirinda can selected, we are going to reduce the opacity. With the layer selected, we are going to create a max. With the mask selected, we grab the pen tool. So we are just going to create a selection and subtract it. So we are going to create a selection around the edges of the umbrella. Just this way. And we are going to fill that with black. So we are selecting any of the marquee tool. We right click and we are filling it with the foreground color which is black. So we fill it with our foreground color. So we fill it with our foreground color which is black. Ctrl D to the select. Then we can set the opacity back to 100. With the layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer so the effect applies only to the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to red. We grab a soft hand brush. Foreground is set to white. We are going to reduce the opacity and we are going to paint. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. We 
with the max selected control I to invert, we grab a soft turn bash, we reduce the opacity. We increase the opacity a bit. Then we are going to be painting some shadows. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. With the max selected, Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft turn bars. With the layer selected. With the layer selected, Ctrl J to make a copy. With this layer selected, we are going to create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And we are just going to right click, Ctrl T, right click, and we distort. So we'll be applying the Gaussian blur to this. We set radius at 22. Then we click the check mark to confirm. So we are going to reduce the opacity. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. Keep the one to the layer. With the max selected, Ctrl I to invert. We'll grab a soft turn brush and we are going to paint some shadows. So we are going to set foreground to black and we are going to erase some part of that. So with the max selected, we are just going to erase. With this layer selected, we are going to create another exposure adjustment layer already clipped onto the layer. With the max selected, Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft hand brush and we are going to paint some shadows. So we are going to create another exposure adjustment layer right onto this bucket. Already clipped onto the layer. So we are going to clip that onto the layer with the max selected Ctrl I to invert. And we are going to be painting some shadows. So foreground is set to white. And we are going to paint.
So actually, we are just going to be creating a exposure adjustment layer and trying to blend everything. That's why I'm doing this as a speed add. So we are going to grab the particles layer, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste, Ctrl T, and we are just going to scale it up to cover the entire canvas. With the layer selected, we are going to set the blend mode to screen. And we are going to create a max. But before that, we are going to create a levels adjustment layer. Clipped onto the layer. We are just going to move the spiders a bit. So with the particles layer selected, with the max selected, control I to invert. We grab a soft sound brush, we increase opacity, we set foreground to white, and we are actually going to be painting some back. Once we have everything in place, we are going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to match all layers. And we are going to right click and convert to a smart object. So we are basically so basically we are going to be playing with all these settings until this is cool and we can just click OK. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, stay creative.